The Marion County Probate Court, an overview. Hi, I'm Darren Finling of the Probate Pro, and we're going to cover the ins and outs of the Marion County Probate Court. Let's get right at it. The Marion County Probate Court is located at 110 Northwest 1st Avenue in Ocala, Florida, of course in Marion County. As you can see from the map, it's centrally located, and from the photo, it looks like a courthouse, a municipal building. It's easy to find and plenty of parking around it. With any courthouse, we strongly urge you to leave your house early, make your way to the courthouse, find parking, go through security, and then take a deep breath. We recognize that probate related issues are often emotionally charged and stress filled. So give yourself plenty of time to make yourself comfortable before your court hearing. As you'd expect with any courthouse, the Marion County Probate Court is a secured building, which means that you'll be proceeding through a metal detector. Most people know what you can and cannot bring through a metal detector, but there are some items that may not be so obvious. For example, any uh, sprays like body sprays or breath sprays in the aerosol form are prohibited, as well as any outside food or alcohol, flammable items, as well as recording devices. Something often forgotten are little nail clippers or knives that are attached, like little Swiss Army knives, attached to keychains. So before you enter or leave your car, check your pockets, check your purse, make sure you have nothing in them that would be prohibited through security. The Marion County Probate Court, of course, handles probate related issues, including deceased estates, trust, and guardianship matters, as well as mental health and commitments. The Marion County Probate Court and the county are really fortunate to have an experienced probate judge handling the probate docket. The Marion County Probate Court maintains a really rich website that allows you to access lots of great information from the comfort of your couch in front of your computer screen. As you can see from the yellow arrow at marioncountyclerk.org.org, you can reach the home page and then I've attached a little rectangles around the departments, the forms, and the search to allow you to both get frequently asked questions answered as well as forms and to look up cases and the docket relating to them. Let's explore the website a little further. This page takes you to the court record search page and you click the public button to allow you to have public access, free access to the court docket. From there, it makes you agree to the disclaimer, which takes you to another page in which you can then type in your search parameters. In this particular case, I used the name John Smith, a generic name, and typed in probate, and then I identified where to hit the search button. But you can search for uh, in other ways by social security number, date of birth, filing date range, and so on, to be able to access that information. From here, it takes me to a listing of any files in which John Smith appeared, and those names are hyperlinked. But what that means is if you click on the name, it then provides you with additional docket information. Here, I've typed or clicked the John Smith file. It shows you that it's a probate file that happens to be closed, provides the case number and the file date, as well as below the court's name or the judge's name, as well as any of the docketed information. This is really valuable to gain case uh, case number information, um, whether the matter is still uh, proceeding or whether it's closed, as well as information relating to the docket. This particular page here is the probate frequently asked question page. It allows you to get lots of good information about the ABCs, the basics, what is probate, what is a guardianship, and so on. So you can really get a better understanding of what's going on in these files. One of the most commonly asked questions are what are the filing fees relating to the various probate related issues. Here I've highlighted the opening of a deceased probate estate as well as the opening of a guardianship file. Now this just represents the initial filing fees relating to these particular matters. To have a full understanding of the total legal expenses from the beginning of the file all the way to the end, you should really check with the probate court as well as your probate lawyer so that you understand all other filing fees that may be incurred through the administration of that proceeding, as well as any legal fees that you may be owing to your lawyer. The Marion County Probate Court, as well as the state of Florida, maintain great statistics about 
the filings and dispositions that have occurred within the probate court. Now, this particular graph shows from 2000 year, uh, fiscal year 2009 through fiscal year 2019 that the blue line represents the steady increase in the number of filings that are occurring statewide that are probate related. As you can see in fiscal year 2009, about 100,000 filings occurred in the state. And in the last fiscal year that was reported, 2019, as reflected by that yellow ribbon, a little over 133,000 probate related files. The magenta line is following as nice railroad tracks the dark blue line, and that represents the dispositions or the resolutions of these particular matters. And as you can see, in 2009, there were a little less than 95,000, and in 2019, a little over 128,000. So it's a very busy court system statewide in Florida. This particular table shows that about 59,000 of those were probate related matters, a small portion, about 940 trusts, and 7,906 guardianship files. This pie graph is representative of the, these particular types of files. 50% or a little less than 50% are probate related matters, commitment acts, substance abuse, mental health related issues, represents about 44% and guardianship a little less than 6%. This particular pie graph shows the dispositions statewide and it really dispels a myth or a common misconception that people have about civil actions and probate related issues. Most people think that these matters are resolved with a jury trial at the end because in television and movies that makes a really dramatic moment when in fact very few occur that way. This particular graph shows that 43.6 are disposed of even before the court hearing and 46% are disposed of by judge without a trial. A little less than 4% are disposed of by a non-jury bench or judge trial. So very, very few are actually trials. This particular table is reflective of just Marion County. And as you can see, it's a busy county courthouse. 1,617 probate related matters, three trusts, 753 commitment acts, 140 guardianships, 2,513 probate related issues are filed at the court each year. It's a lot. So what can you discern from this? Well, going through probate means you're one of many files. So having an experienced, competent probate lawyer to guide you through this process will simply make it a lot easier and allow you to advocate with that lawyer your particular set of circumstances. At the Probate Pro, we're passionate about probate related issues. If you've got questions about the Marion County Probate Court or any probate related issues, visit us at theprobatepro.com or call us at 1-833-PROBATE.